Hi Scorpio, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it. Thank you God for blessing Scorpio with a clear, concise message from you. Okay, so Scorpio, what I was getting was um, in meditation, I, I got like... Um, I don't know the uh it was like prayer like the the children's prayer you know um the pray prayer you say before you go to sleep I forget the name of it um now I lay me down to sleep I pray my lord my soul to keep I don't know if you pray with your children or somebody's praying praying every day or praying um someone misses maybe praying with their family let's see what's what's going on here yeah, the Knight of Pentacles, somebody's dedicated, devoted to work, maybe travel for work, someone's traveling all over. So maybe you miss, you know, being with your children if you have any. Um, there's somebody that's got to get out and make the money, make the bread, you know. Um, so maybe they miss just the small, simple things. Uh, the Two of Swords. On the other side of this is greatness. It could be a masculine energy with the Emperor. Definitely could be you, Scorpio who maybe is missing out or maybe you're shut out or you're locked out from doing something with someone you used to do it with or you're praying for the opportunity to come back around. Yeah, two of pentacles. Praying for that something will change. You just continuously keep going and keep living and keep doing your work and keep this. But you're, you're in your mind, you want something else or you want something to change here. Maybe with a family dynamic. Yeah, six of wands. Um, you want someone to give you more attention or set their sights on you or you want to be married or you want to be back in the house or um, you want someone to get over or you get over the scandal or scandalous behavior. Yeah, the three of swords. You want um, someone to move past uh, or you want to move past the isolation and the alienation maybe that someone is doing or has done in regards to you maybe the not talking the little to no communication you want that to be done with you want to transcend that energy you want to move past it yeah the queen of pentacles you want maybe to talk to your ex-wife wife yeah six of cups you miss the wife the children the home you miss all of that um you could be reminiscing thinking back connecting backwards you want to go back to simpler times you want to you know just a little you just want to tell the person that you love them ace of swords you want the opportunity um to make some irrevocable change you want to show them that you've made change okay um you want to get move past the conflict the ace of swords talks about conflict before resolution so you want to come up with a resolution but you know it's going to be conflict before you do so this talks about the past here the Knight of Cups coming out. So it's definitely that you want to go to somebody from your past or someone who you have a significant past with. It's like you want to heal something, heal the connection, maybe with a feminine energy or this is what someone wants to do with you. You got a lot of cards that fell onto the floor. I'm going to pick them up. All right, so um, none of the cards should be reversed, but some of them are judgment. So that could be you, Scorpio. You want someone to make a fast, quick decision about the relationship the partnership you want to rehash the past deal with it and then bury it so that you guys can move forward so that you can have your positivity back your sun back your radiance your light back you want to move forward the chariot card you want to move back in is what i heard the death card that's you you want the relationship to start again you want it to transform this talks about maybe an ending of a relationship but then the resurgence or the reemergence of a relationship seven of cups that's your energy also it's like you fantasize about this happening again you want your husband back or the husband wants you back or you both want each other back or it's like being shut out being cut out but something not being over the fool in reverse though someone's not willing to take the risk there's a great risk associated with this relationship someone is also saying that they have let go of frivolous activity frivolous behavior sexual activity maybe even being sexually fluid someone has let it go yeah someone's willing to decide on who they want to be with they want to take the lead on this um, and move forward 
yeah, move back in. Her, let me move back in. Work on this. Work on the relationship. King and Queen of Pentacles. So this used to be a solid relationship. Let's get some advice for you. What is the what is the advice for Scorpio? So somebody's definitely missing you. Um, you're missing them. They want to come back. Is this like it just reads as if somebody wants their family back or who they thought was family or somebody wants um, an energy to come back to them or let's see what is the advice for Scorpio this could be a sexless marriage or somebody is neglectful parents and somebody's more so concerned about themselves flashy as f lazy as f somebody's whoa somebody's definitely because i heard drugs drug use telepathy somebody's really um trying to use telepathy to get the other person to understand that you know um i want to be back with you this is an unhappy marriage somebody's in some unhappy marriage or it was an unhappy marriage somebody wants to change that somebody could have been sexually abused Somebody thinks that either you are nuts or you think someone else is nuts. Um, especially with a fool in reverse, you're like, I don't know, this is too much of a risk. If someone wants to tell you that they love lying in your arms, they love being with you. Somebody has some unruly ass children, okay, or child, disobedient, uncaring, bad, just loud. Um, you might need to get a hold of that. Yeah, somebody wants to have some romantic di uh, dinner with you. You're not sure if you're making a bad decision or if you've made bad decisions in regards to this person before. Um, so that's the advice for you here. Um, they want you to know that maybe there was sexual abuse or um, that's why somebody's mind is I heard jambled up. Like just somebody's mind is screwed because they haven't dealt with maybe a past hurt. Somebody wants to get married or move the relationship forward. But somebody's apprehensive about this. Um, there's also a third party situation here, or somebody's saying that they're willing to let go of the uh, unscrupulous behavior or the, um, you know, the carefree sexual activity. Somebody really wants to work on the connection. If somebody feels like it's a bad decision. All right, this is what I have for you. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. Go over to the website and book your own reading there. Ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. Keep in mind that readings are 50% off. Use code 50 off at checkout at the website level. Catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you. Many blessings to you. Take care.